Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Nick Jaspi right over here who's going to help us pack stack this break. Brand new release, 2022 Topps Archives, 10 box, pick your team, 2 all card ship. Um, brand new release, just dropped yesterday. And we got the next one that's down to 5 teams. Big thanks everybody here for making it happen, appreciate it. So if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in, the, in that team random filler. David, you got last spot mojo before he pulled the, those teams. With the Met, 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Get, getting a little festive here. It is the festive season. Entering the festive season. Halloween, Thanksgiving. Like this sharp blade. Christmas. Oh yeah, I just replaced that blade earlier this week. Like these little postcards here, look at this. They're pretty neat. So we're looking for two on-card autographs per box. Now there are some, there are some variations or short print and stuff like that. We'll, we'll try to identify those over the course of the break as, as quickly as we can. But if not, don't freak out because all card shit. Keep calm and break on. The next one sold out already? Nice, it did. Maybe, uh, hmm. Should we fast track that? Take advantage of Nick's help? I think we might. I know we have that have that collegiate football sold out, but since this is a slightly longer break, with some help, we may be, may be able to. It's a trap. Get a gun. It's a trap. No, that that's a third one. Uh, yeah. Not this is the this is the first one. This is the one where it goes three meters, and then and then Luke Skywalker goes. But three meters, that's no big deal. I used to blast Womp Rats in my T16 back home. They're no bigger than three meters. Like a like a serial killer. Like, yeah. like I just kill animals for fun. A New Hope is on, uh, on TNT, if you want to watch with us. Uh, don't forget tonight's promo, ladies and gentlemen, while we're ripping these packs open. Don't forget tonight's promo. Buy a spot, get an entry, and you might win uh, You might win a box, a sealed box of something. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Some breaks count as triple entries. That's also on the, the promo page. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. There's our first auto, Jorge Posada. Hip, hip, Jorge. Jorge, Jorge, Jorge. Jorge, Jorge. That goes to Mark and the Yankees. Picked up the Bronx Bombers straight up. 58 out of 99. Cody Bellinger to 199. It's for Ryan and the Dodgers. First touchdown, Dante Pettis. Lock it in. First touchdown, Dante Pettis. You heard it here first, folks. What is that? Plus a thousand? Thirty to one. Wow. Even better. I have. Uh, what about J.D. McKissick? Anytime touchdown. At plus five hundred. I like that. I think I bet him on him first touchdown as well. There is Travis Ishikawa for the Gigantes, and that will be for for Mark and the Giants. Got the Giants in the uh, the filler, the team random. So 
those are our two autographs. Let's look for Wanders. Let's look for Julio's. Maybe low number parallels of those guys. That would be pretty cool. Maybe a red foil. It's Derek Jeter. Five out of 50. And that'll be another one for Mark S. And the Bronx Bombers, Mr. November, the captain. What else do they call him? DJ2, or whatever his number is. Is it number two? Well, they did the respect, and instead of the S, they do a two. Word. So it's like re two spec. Re two spec. Re two Bobby Wood Juniors as well. Royals, Chris Walker in Kansas City. Yasiel Puig still playing? Yasiel Puig, I don't know what he's doing these days. Go down to Tijuana. See some uh, some Mexican League baseball. Do some scouting. Yeah. That's where they. Boros. That's where they found. Uh, they found uh, Julio Urias and Yasiel Puig. They're on that same trip. I think it was the same trip. Really? He did, and then he, he kind of was in Mexico for a while, trying to make his way into the United States. Some of these first cards have soft corners. Just like yeah, they do. Packing problems. First world packing problems. Some of these can be autographed. These little postcard cards. Not the full size one someone yeah, told me yesterday. Tang hit a trout redemption. Ooh, nice. Jim Rice. Jonathan Kent with the red socks. I met him at a card show. Seven once. out of 99. Yeah, Jim Rice? Yeah, in Syracuse. What, uh, New York. Was he nice? Yeah, he signed in the baseball. Set high. Shout out Syracuse. Shout out Syracuse. Shout out Jim Rice. Oh, there's a Julio Rodriguez, and there's a Tim Hudson autograph. Long time A's and Braves guy. Look at the back of the card. I think he played for the Braves longer than the A's. Yeah, and that's hmm. even, like that's not his final Braves card. So like, there's probably yeah. more. Hmm. That goes to Chris Walker in the ATL. And here's Julio Rodriguez. All of these will go to Chase, who got the Mariners straight up. Let's see if we can find some ink for him. Let's see if we can find some Low numbered parallels. That's Tyler Glass now to 125. There's a Bobby Wood Jr. I think that might be slightly shorter printed than the normal one that we see. Chris Walker with Kansas City. And Mark got randomized the Tampa Bay Rays. Well, there was a Lamont Wade card that was really miscut. Just like the old days. <laughs> They're striving for authenticity. All right, so here's the second half. So both autos popped already. Here's the second half of that box. Each half stack will be a box. There is Tariq Skubal, 158 out of 199 for Ryan and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. Got a Brian De La Cruz, 29 out of 99 for the fish. And it'll be for Chris and the Marlins. What if they're just like execute order? Order 66. What if I just did that? Wow, then you would you would just activate an entire clone army just right now. T 
to kill all the Jedi. So that's on you. In the shop. In the shop. <laughs> that's on you, bro. Oh man, all those come to life? Yeah, that. But like in, in that size. I think they come to life at night. It's like night at the museum. Yeah. Great movie. Fan franchise. At some point in China, I said you like to hear an interview with Rick Rubin. He was on Joe Rogan. Mm. The record producer? Mm. Yeah, I, I don't really care for Joe Rogan's take on music. You know, I want, I want, I want uh, Rick Rubin talking music with other musicians, talking shop. Not just like, hey, what was it like? Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, recording Red Hot Chili Peppers in like the nineties. Tommy John goes to uh, Mark, by the way. That's kind of. Yeah, isn't that how Joe Rogan? Kind of? No. Kind of. So, like, Rick, how much weed do you smoke? Six out of fifteen. JP Crawford. Nice low number there for Seattle. We went down 0-2 in the series. Yeah, Joe Rogan's the guy to, to watch when he, he's interviewing like an alien. Uh, right. Yes. BBC. Yes. That's what Area I want. That. That's Area why. 51. Exactly. So like, what's the government really doing out there in Area 50? What's in the desert? You know, yeah. like, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. And we got a Andy Chavez. Remember him? Mm -hmm. Mets. That's going to go to David. Last Spot Mojo strikes again. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. 39 out of 150. Yeah, did they ever? They brought him back. They brought him back? Those are pretty sharp. Oh, those shirts you got. No, maybe it's bad luck now. Kind of, yeah. Where do you think Jacob DeGrom goes? Atlanta. Really? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. To tour for all Mets fans. Good, good angels move. No, that'd be a horrible move. No, he's gonna break down in like a. Uh, he gets hurt every year. That's true. I mean, somebody who's gonna play. I'd rather have a. Should have gone like Luis Castillo. Worst player. Nick, look at this dick. Dick Hall. Dick Hall. That is. Is that a third auto out of this box? It's a huge dick to pull, right? Yeah, it's a big dick. Dick Hall, for the Orioles. That's gonna be for Brent with that dick. Three autos, and the third was a dick. That's a that's a a lot of a lot of BDE there in this box. You don't see a lot of dicks pulled. No, Dick Buckus pulls some Dick Buckuses and football products. Yeah. Or there's that one player called Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I remember that guy. Koontz, I think Koontz, Koontz. <laughs> <Is it really? laughs> I think it's Koontz. All right, bonus auto. I'll take it. All right, another box. Another box. Speaking archives, autograph only. I can see how you do. Signature series? But like... Another box. Not the... Not the way they do it now. Maybe a little more high end. Hmm. I kind of would actually like that. Because I like the fan favorite yeah. I like the old school names, the old school designs, but let's put it in a sort of a higher end set. Yeah. All right. Next up. Plus the archive signature series are buyback cards, which I, I don't know. True. Really know. Alec Bohm red to 75. A little color match there. Sean Gola with the Phillies. Almost there. Stay on target. 
Dick Clark has a car, sadly. R.I.P. Dick Clark, yeah. R.I.P. Dick. Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. They have a card set. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Remember that? I can't wait. I don't know that one. <laughs> you don't know that one? No. That's uh, that's Al Pacino as Big Boy in the movie Dick Tracy, starring Warren Beatty and Madonna. I've never uh, Al Pacino seen. plays the villain, and uh, and he gets angry that no one can kill this detective, Dick Tracy. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. I just can't wait for the ho so fat cards from basketball products. Who? Did you see that? No. He swapped jerseys with Sharif O'Neal. Wow. He was playing against um, somebody. Almost there. Stay on oh, target. Steve Ho, you fat. Steve that's, that's Ho, you fat. Ho, you fat? That's not his real name. It is. It is. Yeah. Put a comma right in between he's Ho a, and and, he's and a you. French professional basketball player. Wow. He plays with. I, I want to uh, put a comma right there. Ho, you fat. He plays against. Or er, plays with Wembenyama. Wembenyama? Is everyone gonna tank for that guy? Yeah, uh, that's Bill Vidal Simmons. Bruhan, by the way, for uh, Mark in the race. Simmons asked if he'd rather have the title this year or Wembenyama, number one pick. What do you say? Because right. I guess he could win multiple titles with this guy in the series. But isn't it isn't it always isn't it always like isn't there always a cautionary tale about drafting guys like that big? Yeah, like Sean Bradley. Yeah, Sean Bradley, Joel Embiid's been injured. Although he's been healthier the last couple of years, but yeah, but then but Chet Holmgren's another big dude with a foot think problem. Of the guys who played well, Kevin Durant. He was like that kind of lanky. Mm -hmm. Not as tall, but still like almost seven foot. Yeah, I, I, I did Pacino need the work that bad? Or maybe they just paid him an outrageous amount of money. I mean, I think they tried to put together like a big cast. Wasn't Al Pacino and what's Corey Patterson like the worst Cubs. movie ever? In, Kevin. Uh, Adam Sandler's worst movie ever. Uh, plays like a Dunkin' Donuts employee in it. What? Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. Al Pacino has a free spirit. Sometimes Jack and Jill, when Adam Sandler plays two different characters, one named Jack, one named Jill. No, no. Rex would know. <laughs> Rex, Rex is our our in-house in-house in expert on on all things Adam Sandler. I don't know Warren Beatty was in that movie too. I guess it was like sort of that weird '90s era where it was like I don't know, like they were great like in the '70s and '80s or something like that. And they had a little little downturn, maybe. Pacino. And then he kind of came back with like heat in the mid '90s with Robert De Niro. Um, there's the other autograph. There's Josiah Gray, rookie auto for Terry. That's for you, Terry. And the Nationals won that team in the filler. Gets the former Dodgers prospect. Current National. Decent year this year. Got to keep the walks down, like a lot of young pitchers. There you go, TR. All right. Next box. There's a actually a Wander Franco down here. Let's slide that out. Another one for Mark and the Rays. Here's a uh, Tyler Gilbert. P Professor Greg Maddox. And a Kyle Bradish, 12 out of 50 foil card for the O's, Brent, with Baltimore. Why did they call him the professor? Because of the glasses? Uh, I think so. Maybe because of the glasses, maybe just because of his demeanor, his uh, studious approach to the game, which was maybe not as, as, uh, as popular, I think, in the 90s.
Another Julio Rodriguez for Chase and the M's. Let's see if we can find some hits for him. What about this guy? What about Pedro Guerrero? Dodgers edition going to Ryan Heights. Yeah, there was a. I saw an Astros player, I think in Topps Chrome, where it was a landscape card, but he signed it this way. Oh, no. So it's like his autograph is right there and his. So now I'm wondering are all of his cards, if he signed it all like that, or if he did a few and then he's like, wait, that's the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is right. This this was uh, where Nick pulled Rex at uh, Will Ferrell. Yeah, Cubs Will Ferrell. Did you end up selling it, Rex, or did you keep it? He sold it. You sold it? Yeah. You should have kept it. it. I think it sold for a lot more than what it would now, though. Oh, you think so? I don't know, but because then he, they did like him and Dynasty and him and uh... Rex is a is a Will Ferrell fan. Should have kept, should have kept, and the Cubs, we should have just kept. They don't have uh, one this year. Sometimes they do like movies. Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia. A couple years ago they did Sandlot, and they've done Bold Durham. Jonathan Kent with the Red Sox, 85 out of 150. Pretty, pretty decent price. Yeah, I think that I don't think there's any sort of like non-sport or like any movie tie-in or anything like yeah, that. Some umpires and like uh, yeah, the female coach for the the Yankees. Yankees and some announcers. Those will be randomized to someone in the break. So like if we pull, I think it's Joe West. <laughs> They're fan favorites, yeah. which I think is kind of funny. Cowboy Joe. Yeah. There's Whitey Ford, 146 out of 199 Yankees. See, how about this idea? This is where Tops needs me. Okay. Get creative. The, uh, who was Armando Galarraga? Armando Galarraga? Armando Galarraga. The big cat? First baseman for the Rockies? Who's the guy who threw the no-hitter for oh. the perfect game? They, he was out at first, but the umpire ended up calling him safe on the very final out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it Galarraga? No, not Galarraga. It's, uh... Gallardo? Him and the umpire who who'd made that call, Dual Auto. Someone who had no business throwing a no-hitter, I think. I think the umpire has come out and said... Has apologized. Like, he, yeah, they, like he, feels really, the, he feels really the, bad. The game after, like, he was crying with... With him, they did like a picture. Oh yeah, so they're on good terms then. They're Armando Galarraga. Armando Galarraga. In 2010, he was one out from a perfect game when umpire Jim Joyce mistakenly called the runner safe. Hunter Green to 25 for Bill Bell. Yeah, why don't they do more stuff like that? I don't know, maybe they can't get the contract. Yeah, maybe put a a Jake Berger and a Seth Beer dual auto. Yeah. Where's that? Or, uh, the dicks. Yeah, put quad the, dick auto. Yeah, quad dick auto. <laughs> dick Tracy, Dick Hall, Dick Buckus. It's a family show, ladies, and we're just talking about what's their names. Get your minds out of the gutter. What's behind here? Or Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr., Vlad Jr., Vlad, Vlad Sr. Yeah, quad little, auto. little father son quad auto. Remember that one NT product where Ken Greenwood Sr. signed it in yeah, junior spot? Yeah, I reposted that the other day. Oh. <laughs> and I, and I, I posed the question, who signed in the wrong spot yeah, first? And definitely dad. Like, senior. Definitely dad. Yeah. And like Ken Griffey Jr. gets it later. He's like, come on, dad, you're yeah. embarrassing us here. Yeah. There's Whitey Herzog. Yeah. I guess no one goes Whitey anymore, right? <laughs> Whitey Ford and Whitey Herzog. There was like a certain era where those guys were like, yeah. I don't know. What's that nickname for? Is that their real name? Can't be. Oh. 
Yeah. Carlos Santana, 50 out of You think some parent said Whitey is going to be his name? Oh, we just missed the Death Star being blown up. Yeah, but was it really? <laughs> was it? If you look at the seal beams, man. <laughs> no way that... His it name up, is... It blew up from the inside. It blew up from the inside. Dorel Norman Elvert Whitey Herzog. Wow. I guess you're not going by Dorel. Roger Maris in the Hall of Fame or not? What do you think? He's not in the Hall of Fame? He's not. Oh. I don't know if he has the career numbers for it. All right? No, he only had a few good years. I don't know if he was in the war or what. I think, uh... Ooh! Nice international signing autograph. O'Neill Cruz. For the Buckos, that's going to be for Stephen Carney and the Pirates. Got the Pirates straight up. Thank you, Stephen. Nice. Powers, yeah. Kenny Powers RPA. That's a good one, Terry. Did Triple Threads have a Kevin Costner autograph in there? Yeah. Oh, forgot about that. I think Archives did too at some point. They double Costner us. Whoa, Do you ever, you ever watch you, this? You um, missed the Death Star being blown up. Yeah, millions of people dying just like. This. I don't know how many. I don't think there were a million people in there, but probably. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. It's a big space yeah. station. <laughs> Basically a moon. Yeah, so I yeah, mean, I like. There could be a million. We're waiting until. Um, you know, the, the. Prequels come on. I guess. So we can go execute order uh, 66. You ever watch this YouTube video of them doing this without the music? No, is it awkward? It's really funny because there's really no. There's really no where like where's the music playing from so yeah there's like not a band no, right there's no there. band there so if you watch it it's just like you just hear click 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 of footsteps and no one's really saying anything and nobody's saying anything right, right there yeah and they're just kind of laughing I just haven't seen uh, I haven't seen the latest episode the other day I forgot oh yeah Ander? I just caught up with She-Hulk though it's good actually, you watch good. the finale. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's really, really good, good, actually. Yeah, I love it. Was it. Good. <laughs> I love oh, yeah. that comedy. I gotta, yeah. I gotta get into that. They're the postcards. Cheers. Thank you. I gotta yeah, get that, into that. Yeah, I think last night was kind of crazy. But, uh, when, uh, did you think that? A lot of Hulks out there. All right, postcards. Wait, what am I nitpicking about? I wasn't, I wasn't nitpicking. Analyzing, Terry. There's a difference. Learn it. <laughs> All right, postcards. Greetings from New York. Greetings from New York. Greetings from the Queen City, Cincinnati. Isn't Charlotte also the Queen City? It's Raphael Devers. Greetings from Boston. Greetings from the South Side. Greetings from the ATL. Greetings from Detroit. Greetings from San Diego and St. Louis. Another Star Wars happening here? We get Empire here? Oh yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Your Tauntaun will freeze before you get to the second marker. Then I'll see you in hell. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Echo one, echo one to base. 
I found them. Repeat, I found them. The first transport is away. The first transport is away. Huzzah! Ooh, Mo, Mariano Rivera. That's nice. That's for Mark and the Yankees. Bought the Yankees straight up. Numbered one out of 50. Nice, congrats. And let's play two, Ernie Banks, six out of 15. Kevin and the Cubs. And we got another Andy Chavez autograph for the Mets, David, with the Metropolitans. We got a little mini Josh Lowe. I think there can be mini autographs, too. Possibility for that. And a Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. That'll be for Chris Walker. Right, yeah, Jonathan saying the Rivera is a premium auto. All right. Next box, good luck. Oh, see, there it is. Greg Maddox. Four out of 20. Hand numbered, mini auto. Going to Chris Walker and the Braves. Won the Braves in the uh, filler. In the team random. Four twenty, A smoke and hit. There's Aaron Judge. 7 out of 25. And a George Foster the People autograph. George Foster, Australian for beer. Goes to the Red Legs. That'll be for Bill Bell. stack here. Wander Franco for the Rays. It'll be for Mark.
We've got a Francisco Lindor, 157 out of 199 for the Mets. It'll be for uh, David. And Julio Rodriguez. And down to our last two boxes. got Bryce Elder, 009 out of 125. Chris with the ATL. And we got Manny Tri Trio? Trillo? Cubs. Kevin with the Cubbies. And a Derek Jeter to 99. Junior. And Raleigh Fingers. Look at that mustache. That is for Chad Wright and the A's. 111 out of 150. Wander Franco, another one of those for Mark and the Rays. Julio Rodriguez and his teammate Robbie Ray to 199. And a couple Wander Francos, both for Mark and the Rays. Won the Rays in the filler. Final box, good luck. Oh yeah, tons. I'll do a recap in just a minute. It's a pretty solid break. Josh Donaldson, six out of 15. Jared Kellenick just missed, just missed a homer for the Mariners late in the game. And there's, there's Joe West. We're talking about him. So everyone gets a shot at the Joe West. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Just 
Tom Terrific, 57 out of 125 for the Mets. Helio Ramos, foil, 100 out of 149 for the Giants. And our final autograph in the break, Travis Ishikawa for Mark and the Giants. Eight out of 25 on that one. And that, my friends, is that. Pick your team two in the books. Thanks, everyone, for making it happen. Appreciate it. Now let's see who gets that Joe West autograph. So let's go to the list here. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 30. And name on top. We'll get the Joe West autograph after 10, 6 and a 4, 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10th and final time. After 10. Sorry, Terry. No Joe West for you, but... Sad times for you and everyone else. Happy times for for Bill Bell. That Joe West autograph going your way. And there you go, gang. Not a bad break at all. And that cool Greg Maddox mini auto, number to 20. The Mariano Rivera, the O'Neill Cruz. Hmm, nice stuff. Thanks everyone for getting in, appreciate it. I'm Joe, I'll see you next time for the next one, bye-bye.